Welcome to the Heal Your Hunger Show, where we get to the heart of why you overeat and how to stop. If you struggle with food and weight like I did, welcome home. Welcome everybody to the Heal Your Hunger Show. So happy to have you here. It is a great day to be alive. Woohoo! It is, isn't it? Like we could be six feet under. <laughs> so it's a good day if we're not. Um, yeah. So there's so many reasons to be grateful. And I find that gratitude is a regenerative emotion. It just makes you feel better and better and better. So let's focus on what's good. Hey, you're listening to a podcast. How bad can it be? <laughs> so uh, I am uh, happy to announce that I am listed. Uh, you can find me rather on Instagram and TikTok at Trisha Nelson underscore. So um, yeah, Trisha Nelson underscore. I'm posting. I'm talking, I'm uh, doing some cool things, some clips from different talks that I've done and uh, work that I do with my clients. So check it out. Yeah, check it out. Share it with others, please. Um, and also a lot of good stuff happens in the Secret Sauce, Secret Sauce group on Facebook. So if you're not in the Secret Sauce group, go to, see, go to Facebook and type in the Secret Sauce to End Emotional Eating and join us there. We'd love to have you. And that's where we, you're the first to know always what's going on with Heal Your Hunger, what free stuff we're doing, what, what cool courses are coming down the track. So, um, so check that out. And last but not least, OMG. I'm here to talk today about my TEDx talk because we just hit 1 million views. Oh, wow. <laughs> In one year, we hit 1 million views. Uh, friends, we're hitting a chord. We are hitting a chord. It's hitting home for people. Uh, they're, they're, they're picking up what I'm laying down, which is uh, I'm talking about the real issues. It's called emotional eating. What if weight loss isn't about the food? So if you haven't checked out my TEDx talk, just go to YouTube and type in Trisha Nelson, emotional eating, and you'll find it. It's 14 minutes. It's a, it's, it's a good 14 minutes, uh, meaning it's a good uh, way to spend 14 minutes. Okay. And, and if you're here at the Heal Your Hunger show, you're probably my people. And if you're my people, you'll relate to the message in my TEDx talk. So I want to talk today about what I've learned from my TEDx talk. It's going to be short and sweet, um, but I just, you know, I'm so excited about the fact that it's, it's really catching fire and people are resonating with my message. And boy, oh boy, there's over 85 likes, I'm sorry, 85,000 likes um, on the TEDx talk on YouTube. Um, there's over 600 comments replies um people are really like wow i've been there wow thank you you know for for sharing this some really great comments um you know some comments about wow you know it's not just the women it's the men too um thank you if you are somebody who has left a comment thank you for that it helps right it helps us create community it helps other people know they're not alone. Um, it helps the, the, the TEDx talk get more traction so we can carry the message of hope and healing, which is what I'm all about. So I just want to talk really uh, briefly um, what's cool about this TEDx talk. First of all, um, um, I won't spoil it for you if you haven't watched it yet, but, um, but first of all, you know, this is such a common problem. I mean, 85,000 likes so far, uh, uh, people you know, they're relating. They're like, oh yeah, yeah, I get it. And wow, yes, like this makes sense or this helps me or, you know, I've been there. So um, this is such a common problem. Uh, however, my experience is when you're an emotional eater, you think you're the only one, okay? You think you're the only one. And it's, that is also common is that we're like, oh, I'm so bad. I'm so awful. This is what I used to think. I'm so bad. I'm like the scum of the earth. I'm the only one who's done th these terrible things. I mean, garbage eating, come on. I was sure as the only one. And I thought I was the worst person in the world. And so much of what I do with my clients is help them open up their minds and see, no, you're not bad. You're not bad. And you're not alone. That's why um, my programs are done in groups. Like I have women on Zoom together, women around the globe who are sharing their trials and tribulations around food and a common solution because I lay it out real specific how to heal from emotional eating. And when they see other people 
you know, having the same experiences, having had the same relationship with food that they've had, oh my gosh, it takes away so much of the burden of isolation because isolation fuels the fire. Isolation keeps us eating. When we think we're the only ones and we think we're so bad, it perpetuates the eating. It just compounds it. We just think we're bad, might as well eat, right? Might as well eat and, and nobody would understand. So we might as well hang out with our food because we couldn't possibly talk about this with other people. And so this is what I've learned is that, uh, first of all, this is such a universal problem. Friends, I have heard from women across the globe, even from countries I never knew existed, saying, I've been there, you know, I'm out of control. I hate my body. I don't know how to stop. Breaks my heart. But I have to say, it's also confirming for me that so many people suffer from this. And think they're the only ones, you know, but it's a universal. It, this is a, you, you know, having a disordered relationship with food, having disordered eating, you know, which is kind of an umbrella term, which includes emotional eating, includes every kind of eating disorder. But if you have disordered eating, it doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what your race. It doesn't matter what your religion is or your age or your marriage status. If you, you know, have the struggle of food, you are not alone. And this problem, this addictive habit with food is no respecter of persons. It's no respecter of, um, again, where you live, how old you are, how big you are, how skinny you are, uh, you know, how much money you have. It's, it's a problem, a big, big problem, a universal problem. So you are not alone. It's so common. And I think my TEDx talk just really underscores that because there's so many people chiming in and being like, whoa, I've done that. Thank you. Thanks for calling this out. Um, you know, and so the idea that thinking we're the only ones, that in and of itself will perpetuate the problem. So that's another thing that I think the TEDx talk is doing for people. It's helping people see um, they're not alone um, and it's helping them find some relief just in that fact alone. Another thing is there's so much shame, you know, and part of that is why we keep it to ourselves. That's why we don't talk about it and think we're the only ones is because we don't want anybody to know. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to acknowledge it. We're, we're feeling so much shame around it. Again, that fuels the problem. It fuels the problem. So I love that people are coming out of the closet. I love that people are talking about it. Um, anytime I hold a class, uh, the, the people on there are so grateful to be in a group of people who are talking about something they think is so shameful. You know, it takes the shame away when you realize how common it is, when you realize you're not the only one, and when you realize there's a solution. You know, I um, just did a master, a free master class today. If you're not on my email list, go to my website, healyourhunger.com and get on my list. Take the free quiz and then you'll be on my list for sure. And you'll also find out where you are on the emotional eating spectrum, whether you're an emotional eater or a food addict or somewhere in between. But the point is, you know, I did this free masterclass and there were women in there chat, you know, sharing in the chat. They're like, wow, you know, I, this is, uh, you know, I thought it was hopeless. Like I thought it was hopeless. And there are women in there who have literally been struggling with food and weight for 50 years, literally five decades. A lot of women come to me after they are so beat up by diets, so beat up by, by thinking the next diet's gonna fix them. And they have been disappointed on too many occasions to count. And so they feel like losers. And that's how I felt. I felt like such a loser. And the fact was the things I was doing couldn't have worked. So I, it's not on me, it's not my fault. And it's not your fault. If you fail the diets, it's not your fault. Diets only, they, they only address the symptom of food and weight. They don't help you heal your relationship with food. That's what we need to do. So um, the shame, I love seeing women step out of the shadows of shame and start like feeling better about themselves and patting themselves on the back and stopping beating themselves up just because they couldn't follow a diet. I couldn't follow a diet either because diets, they, they don't give you the tools for living. If you take away your, all your favorite foods, which is what happens on a diet, and you don't have new tools, new ways of coping with your stress, you're going to go back to those foods. You're going to be craving those foods. The craving is primarily emotional. Beyond the addic addiction to sugar and carbs, 
it's mostly emotional, you know, and, and, and you're using that food to get by. You're emotionally dependent on food to deal with life. And if you don't have new coping tools to deal with life, you're gonna go right back to the food. That's why diets can't serve you. So another cool thing about the comments in my TEDx talk is a lot of men are in there being, you know, they're going, oh, wow, this is me. And it's not just the women. And I love that. Thank you, men. If there's any men listening, we love you. And guess what? We actually are serving you now. We have, um, we've opened up our programs for men as well. It's a separate, program but we're it's it's uh meaning we we have groups for the women you know and um and still just women but we are now serving men that's a new addition to heal your hunger is being able to help men so if you are a man listening um please reach out we'd love to talk with you and see if you're a, a fit for my program so i love that the men are i'm sorry the men are suffering but of course they are i mean food is no respecter, you know, emotional eating is no respecter of your gender, right? You know, if you're out of control of food, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female or non-binary or whatever. It's like you, you, you know, you got this twisted relationship with food that needs to be sorted out. So uh, hope to hear from some men as well. And lastly, people need not only support, but they need a plan. And what I see is so many people out there that are just suffering, trying to figure it out on their own, and they don't have a plan. They don't have a plan. They might have a food plan. They might be weighing and measuring their food. That's not the plan I'm talking about. I'm talking about a plan for living, a way to deal with your stress, a way to change the things that are driving you to eat. That's the plan you need, a real plan for overcoming emotional eating. So if you don't have that plan, that's what's missing. Okay. If you don't have a step-by-step -step system for overcoming emotional eating, I don't talk, I'm not talking about diet. We all know how to diet friends. I mean, come on, you know, eat good protein, good fat, you know, slow metabolizing carbs and vegetables, lots of vegetables. Okay. There you go. We all know that information that's not moving the needle. What you need to know is how to live free from the compulsion to eat. That's what needs to change. And that's what I want for you. And so I'm excited, um, you know, that that's what Heal Your Hunger offers. We offer a serious plan, like a step-by-step -step process. I say serious, but it's actually a lot of fun. But, but the point is, it's a, it's a real plan. It's a real plan, step-by-step. -step. If you do it, it works. If you don't do it, if you fall off, which happens, you know exactly, you can go, you can backtrack and see we, like, what wasn't I doing? And then you can get on the plan and it'll start working for you. So we take the guesswork out of it. There's too much nebulous information like intuitive eating, eat in moderation, mindful eating. Those three terms don't help you when you're an emotional eater and out of control of food because you can't do it. You can't do it. I just did a podcast on intuitive eating. It's a great plan on paper, but if you have this driving compulsion to eat, if you like have this monster inside of you that's that's growling and demanding to be fed, it's not going to last you just to know about intuitive eating or try to intuitively eat. You'll miss the mark. Like you'll eat in spite of not really needing to eat. So um, you need a plan. You need a real plan for overcoming emotional eating, you know, slaying that dragon, losing that compulsion so that you're neutral around food. And that's what I want for you. That's what my clients are doing and, and learning to be successful at. So please reach out if you don't have a plan. Please reach out if you don't have proper support. Stop thinking you should do it on your own. If you could have, you probably would have by now. Um, check out my TEDx talk if you haven't yet. And then reach out. Reach out. We'd love to talk with you. Um, I think we might still have the opportunity for a breakthrough session on my website. Um, you know, uh, that's complimentary. So take advantage of that. Um, yeah, but don't try to do it alone. You're not gonna, it's not gonna work. <laughs> what can I say? It hasn't, right? So we'd love to support you with a real plan and a plan that's successful for over a thousand women. And I love, love, love the opportunity at any time I get to talk about emotional eating. I love having this opportunity, but don't expect to see another TEDx talk from me. 
<laughs> that was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Seriously, that and having my dad die of cancer. Seriously, it was so hard to memorize a talk. It was so hard. So I don't plan on doing, you know, I have friends who do like multiple TEDx talks. I'm like, are you crazy? Are you crazy? That was hell. <laughs> So I'm glad it worked out. I'm glad the TEDx talk is on YouTube. Thank you, TEDx, from the bottom of my heart for posting that. Um, it's a really important message. People are suffering. They're suffering in silence. They're suffering in isolation. They're spinning their wheels, uh, you know, overeating and, uh, you know, gaining weight and not fitting in their pants and hating themselves because of it and thinking they're less than because of their weight or how they look. And all of that is hogwash. You know, you can be free. You can be totally free. And I'd love to show you how. So please reach out, say hello. Don't be a stranger. Join us in the Secret Sauce group. Um, TikTok, I'm on TikTok, you know, say hello on TikTok or Instagram. But the most important thing is get help. Your life is waiting. Your awesome life is waiting. Thanks so much. I love being here with you. And I'll see you on the next show. If you enjoyed this podcast and want to get free support, insider health info, exclusive invites to events, and more, visit HealYourHunger.com.